Good morning, everyone. It's a chilly morning. Woo. <laughs> Summer in the Northeast is not what I'm used to. Okay. Getting ready to go into Rutland, Vermont. Rutland, Vermont. Today is day one. I think 182 on the Appalachian Trail. Right now, I've got to go use the restroom because I'm about to blow. Just had my cup of coffee. And it's something about coffee in the morning. It gets your, it gets your bowels moving. It gets them moving. I'm going into Rutland, Vermont. I've got about a mile and a half to go down to the road, and then I have to catch a bus into Rutland. The bus runs about 8.20, let's see, it's 6.58 now, so I have an hour and 20 minutes. Kind of need to be moving. Uh, exciting day. Uh, let's see, McDonald's, McDonald's, laundromat, thrift store, Walmart, and then maybe the Yellow Deli. Uh, if y'all have heard of the, the, the religious group, the Colt 12 Tribes, they have a oh ooh, I gotta go I gotta go man I'll tell you all about it later anyway a religious cult and their headquarters is located in Rutland we may go investigate Woo! I warmed up real quick rain jackets coming off I don't know how I don't know what I was thinking when I had my rain jacket and my rain pants on this morning Whew, I would roast it alive anyway let's go I hear the highway Woo! it's gonna be close I have 30 minutes to spare <sighs> <sighs> And the bus runs every hour. So if I miss the first bus, I've got to hang around for a whole hour. And in town, for a town day, an hour is a long time. Time goes fast. Well, it's not a long time, but you don't want to waste hours. Not on town days. I mean, it's nice if you're staying in town at a hotel, but I don't do that. I've never stayed in a hotel. Zero hotel visits. Yeah. Yeah, read that. So uh, it's a little more stressful because I got to get in town and out and get all my errands done. Whew. So I had to get started early. All right. All right. I can make it there. I can make it in 30 minutes. But if that bus passes me by, whoo, 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 I'll be a little upset, but it's okay. Can't change it. You can't cry over spilt milk. But while I can, I'm going to run down this trail. Almost there. Almost there. Here we are. Whew. US Route 4. All right. Rutland's that way west. Killington, Vermont's so that way. So we need to catch the bus coming from Killington to Rutland, which is about eight miles that way. Trailhead parking up here. It's not, a, it's not a designated bus stop, but you have to flag it down right here. So I'm just going to have to chill and flag it down. I'm going to put my clothes back on. It's a, little, it's a little cold this morning. A car pulled over. I think he was trying to pick me up. <laughs> trying to pick me up. Right over here at the parking. He like pulled over and kind of you know parked and looked back. But he was going the wrong way. So I need to go towards Rutland. He was heading towards Killington. Uh, well, that's good to know that people are friendly. So if I have to hitch... I can get a ride. Hey, so whoever that was that pulled over, I'm sorry I didn't walk up to your car. It's kind of a, I mean, it's a walk up there and I wasn't really sure. But uh, anyway, it's nice to know friendly people are here in Vermont. Friendly people. Except for the lady at the bus dispatch. She was not so friendly. Anyway, let me see if I can flag down this bus. The only problem is the bus is going to be coming from that direction and I'm on the opposite side of the road. So I have to flag it down. I don't think it's going to cross over traffic to come over here. So I really need to be on the opposite side. But there's nowhere for it to pull over on the opposite side. Eh, eh. I'm just gonna flag it down and the bus driver will figure it out. I hope he stops. Got it. Oh yeah. I'm at the transit station. I'm waiting to catch a connector. Oh, is that South Route? That's the South Route. That's what I need to catch. Y'all see it? South Route, going to McDonald's, the embassy. Hey. Here we are, check it out. The embassy, McDonald's. This is the uh, Vermont or 
whatever state this is the vermont state fairgrounds right here so uh what rutland rutland's a big a big city it's a big city they have a dollar general right here boy they have everything they have horses see horses state fairground looks like they're getting ready i see rides and things getting set up it's a little early for state fairs but you never know stop number one mcdonald's buddy what are you doing in the mcdonald's this is not the place for an inchhorn brother I think he came in on your pack. Oh, we gotta take him outside. We have to save him. Cause, yeah, this is mean. He's confused. He sees the green and he's thinking. Yeah, I'm gonna take him outside. Some kind of dog competition going on. Oh, they're jumping. They're doing jumps. What? That's a bigger dog. You feel a little excitement there in the crowd that air up the maple jumps. Alright, here we go. This is a good jump of dog itself. This dog has a first to best of 30 feet 9 inches. But this thing is here in the first to best. They don't always jump like that. Dogs have better days than always just any day. This dog was jumping well yesterday over 25 feet though. There's a lot going on at the Vermont State Fairgrounds. They have the, you see over there where the canopies are, they have the, the dog jumps. And then down here in the promenade or the parade ground, you have horses. There's a horse competition. It's a busy Saturday. Back on the bus. I love public transportation. Next stop, Goodwill. Let's see if I can get some nice gloves. Goodwill was a bust. No gloves. And I didn't realize it, but the bus doesn't run between noon and one o'clock. And I'm out there standing for the waiting for the bus, and it's not coming. <laughs> so now it's time to hoof it back to the laundromat. My, I'm just tired of I'm tired of wet clothes. I hate wet clothes. So the only time my clothes are dry. Is, or, is when they come out of the dryer but i need that i need it just for the morale boost just for the morale boost because i'm breaking down man this last 500 miles is gonna be rough i see the hiker mecca walmart ah! i gotta do laundry first and then it's the walmart Woo. all right we saw walmart but the next the next the next stop is the laundromat right here oh oh and i went to another thrift store and i got a new pair of uh, gloves Thinsulate, 3M Thinsulate gloves for $2, man. That'd be like $30, $40 at a store. Ha, <laughs> $2, thrift store. That's how I roll. You're just not guaranteed to get your size or the thing you want, but you will find the thing you need. I've been waiting so long for this dry socks. I could never have imagined how important, how important having dry socks is. It is, it is, uh, what's it, in, invaluable, invaluable, just for morale and for your skin not falling off your feet. Cause I have trench foot right now and I don't like trench foot. Time to go to the last stop of the day, Walmart, the hiker Mecca. Rutland has a lot of nice artwork on the buildings. And these are just two of them. I mean, I've seen artwork on almost every building. Who's that, Amelia Earhart? It's an old town, but it's a, it's a pretty town. Oh, and a lot of marijuana dispensaries. People like getting high in Rutland, Vermont. I can tell you that. Rutland's pretty. Look at this, look at these buildings. 
Oh, I like Rutland, but I gotta get going. I forgot to show myself going into Walmart, but I got a lot of stuff. Oh, they didn't have summer sausage, so I'm having a pepperoni. Stepping my game up a little bit. The yellow deli is right. Oh, y'all can see it. You see the sign? That's the yellow deli, the little sunflower thing. I can't, I don't have time to go investigate the cult. I heard it is a cult. I believe it is a cult. It's represented by, I don't know, some kind of group called the 12 tribes. And this is the deli. This is like the recruiting center. You know, they come in, you come in, you get free food and a place to stay. And then you have to like, you know, they start talking Jesus to you and then you have to sign your soul away. And you end up in a farm working for slave labor. Yeah, not for me, baby. Oh yeah, I don't have time to investigate because I got to catch a bus. I am not hoofing it back to the trail. That is not happening. Back at the bus station. This is cool. This is what I like about having, being in a bigger city, public transportation. It's amazing. I hop on a bus, a south extension. So there's one bus coming on. There's some other bus. There's a north bus, south bus, south extension, all kinds of buses. You can get where you need to go. Oh, and, and the best thing about this one is free. Like the public transportation lately, it, it's all been free. I'm used to having to pay for a bus or having a bus pass. But up north, it's free. It's amazing. Goodbye, Rutland. Back to the trail. There goes the bus. Thank you for the ride, man. Back on trail. See the sign? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where's the sign? Where's the sign? The Appalachian Trail, baby! Woo! Hey, it's the, hey, oh, oh, guess what? Guess what? I just checked the forecast. It says it's supposed to rain in 30 minutes. Hasn't rained all day. The moment I get back on trail, rain! That's some, that's the Appalachian Trail for you. I'm done with this trail. I don't know where I'm gonna go. I just don't wanna be here anymore. This is the Appalachian Trail for you. The moment I step back on trail, mud. My feet are my feet are finally dry. The first time my feet have been dry in like weeks. And then I step on trail and it's this. Ooh, if it rains on me, I swear I am gonna. Oh! Oh! Just look at it. Look at it. Hike the Appalachian Trail, they said. It'll be fun, they said. They needs to die. Swing, baby. Man, look, I shelter all to myself. Ooh! Ow! Oh, I'm on fire, baby! Woo! Two nights in a row! Oh, you can't tell me nothing. And I got town food. Man, I'm so excited. It did not rain on me. It didn't rain on me. I thought it was gonna rain. I got all my clothes dry, got back on trail, and I knew, I just knew the trail was gonna rain on me, but it didn't. I'm excited. I'm excited for that because my clothes are finally dry because I went to the laundromat. And now I have a shelter, and it looks like a new shelter. And right now I'm on the long trail, which it's shared like a hundred miles of the long trail is shared with the Appalachian trail, but it's split like a half mile back. So right now I'm still on the long trail, which not many people hike and not many people camp. And so all the Appalachian trail through hikers aren't going to come this way. And so I get the shelter to myself, which is amazing. And there are no mice. Oh, well, well, hold up. Hold on. I said there are no mice, but my luck in the middle of the night, I'm going to hear skitter 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 i'm gonna wake up and there's just gonna be like a thousand eyes looking at me anyway well i'm about to leave y'all to it i'm i'm gonna go eat dinner and go to sleep so i'm gonna leave you with, with a shot of this little creek after i fill my my water bottle